What's up, Star Wars fans? This is Darth Watts, and this is my review of The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 5. And it was great. The action sequence was good. Um, pretty much the overall, the overall, like, entirely of the episode was about, what was about, like, Navarro and Grief Karga and the pirates, how they had an end to each other now, because after Grief Karga killed some of some of the pirates at defending the town of Navarro and says that Navarro is no longer friendly with pirates so um, that pissed them off and eventually eventually they took control of Navarro until the Mandalorians teamed up and took down the pirates and now Navarro is entirely independent again um, it's not it's not with the New Republic or with Moff Gideon. It's entirely independent. And um we also get to see like Bo Katan. Uh she is instructed to bring all cults of the Mandalorian together. No matter what cult you are, you are still considered a Mandalorian and we finally get to see that. Maybe we'll see a redemption for all the Mandalorians by the end of the season. There's been some mention of the Mythosaur as well is that bo -Katan was really lucky that she saw the mythosaur um which is reason why she was instructed to bring all all cults of the mandalorian together and the mandalorian teamed up and there was a lot of actions between the mandalorians and the pirates and it was amazing i couldn't stop watching it um i had to rewatch some of the scenes again i've only watched the episode once so I watched it yesterday, um, but it was it, it was good. I loved it, and let me know what you guys think of this episode down in the comment section down below. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention: Moff Gideon. We finally get somewhere learning about Moff Gideon is that there was an abandoned ship. I think the Mandalorians are being framed because there's been it. I think I think what they what Moff Gideon did is like broke out of broke broke out and pretty much blamed it on the Mandalorians so the New Republic would go after the Mandalorians and I think the next few episodes is going to get very dark we're going to find out who Moff Gideon is working for we're going to find out a lot of things although I was kind of disappointed that we got to see that that we didn't get to see like Moff Gideon escaping on screen or or him being captured on screen and we we saw that Moff Gideon never made it to trial so I think the next few episodes are going to get darker we're going to find out a lot of things within the next few episodes and I will be covering all that I'll be covering all that in future videos now that I only have the Mandalorian to focus on and that the Bad Batch is complete season two is completely wrapped up now i can just focus on the mandalorian and i'll and i'll move my mandalorian reviews on wednesdays so next wednesday uh stay tuned for a Mandal for the next episode of the mandalorian season three review but anyways that's all i have to say for this video do make sure to smash a like subscribe comment and i will catch you all later in another video